Welcome everyone to the long awaited saving your scene. This feature has been long in the making and probably long requested for a long time. I know many people have popped into my server and always asked, how can I save a scene? Well, it's finally here and let's find out how. Now, let me prove to you that this works. So here on my bottom left, this is my saved scene. So let me delete this and let me hit play. Let's game start. Let's move around a little bit. You can see here it saved the game. Let's hit play. And you can see here that it saved everything. It saved the entire scene. All right, now let's take a look at how this works because this is not all of it. This is the general gist of it. But okay, let's take a look at the scene. So here, how are we saving first? Now, okay, I've, I'm have i saving it using a timer. I'm essentially auto-saving, auto, auto -saving, right? So a lot of games have this feature where you have auto-save. So this is essentially the auto-save. Maybe you would want to increase it to like 5, 15, 30 seconds. One second is probably too much. But for the sake of this video, this one second is fine. All right, now in the script, this is how we save. We are gonna get the self, right? So self, this is the world, or you can save a specific scene, right? You can say get node player, whatever you'd like, right? And then we're gonna create a new packed scene by just saying packed scene.new, right? This is an object essentially, oops. And then we're gonna take that scene and pack the node, right? So which is self, the world. And then this is what we do. We're gonna resource saver.save and we're gonna save the scene into this new path. This is essentially us dictating this new path, right? Now, every time I save, I'm gonna be overriding this uh, saved game, right? So here, if I were to play again and the timer were to go off, it would just override it. And then every time I move, it would save the new position of the player, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, now the sweet stuff. In the menu, here in my menu, I just have a simple button and the game starts on this menu, right? Now in here, you can see that I have to check to see if the file exists. Because if I try to just load the game on the first time my, my user plays, let's say your user, right, someone playing your game has played this game for the very first time. Well, you probably wouldn't want to load something that doesn't exist because it, it just doesn't exist yet. So we have to check to see if that file exists yet. So we can say file access.file exists. To check, this will just return true or false. If it's false, right, so not, meaning this is a new game, then we'll just load or change the scene like we regularly do, right? So get tree dot change scene to file, and that's it. Now, else, otherwise, we'll load the scene with resource loader dot load, say the saved game, right? The path dot instantiate, right? We have to make sure we instantiate it, and then we'll just add it, right? So we'll say get tree dot get root and add it to the main scene of the game. And then we will delete the menu. Now this should also work if I just say self, right? but it's the same thing. Now, if I hit play, I can say game start. And now you can see it worked. And in my remote, you can see the main menu got deleted. All right, so that is pretty much it. This is how to save and load a scene. Now do keep in mind, this is a new feature and it just came out and it might be a little buggy. So use it with caution, whether you're gonna publish a game or whatever, if you're testing it, you know what I mean? So uh, play around with it like lightly. It probably is still better to save and load data instead. So saving and loading resources itself and stuff like that. And one last thing, uh, I have tested this. So if you just load it without this, this also works. So you can just load it as if it's a regular scene and this would also work here. So if I game start, it loads the saved game, right? So now if I move again, this should work. We might not have saved, so let's play again. I have to wait for it to pop up save. Unless there's a good chance that the save scene doesn't have the proper code. Let's take a look, we can open this. Okay, uh, I just paused and repaused the video and I just found out what the bug is. It's not too bad, but I'll take a, I'll show you what it is. So essentially when I play and game start, here's our lo loaded scene, right? Now in this saved game, you can see here in the timer that the auto start is off. Now in the, it saved it right, in the world as on. So that means it is buggy, right? So do keep in mind some of these things might happen. A good fix, right, is just to say function ready. Uh, we can say get node timer dot auto, what is it? Copy value, auto start is equal to true. There we go. 
right? And this should work. Here we go, that's still connected. Okay, so now if I play and game start, now it saves, right? So these things might happen and do keep in mind that, yeah, like these things might happen, right? So um, it could be buggy and just keep this in mind when using this new feature. Uh, it is cool, but again, it is still a little buggy. I don't know how many times I gotta say that, but that is it for this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned a lot. And I like to see you guys use this feature. Let me know down in the comments down below what you guys would like to see next. Goodbye.